G'day, welcome to our studio. My name is Wayne Clements, your presenter. We're going to paint a little uh, sunset. It's a Kakadu sunset, this one. And we're going to go around our palette, of course. So it'll put the goggles on and we'll start off with our titanium white, of course. And we're going to go around here. We'll skip the blue. We're going to be in a sunset. We're going to have uh, some yellow here, some mid yellow, uh, cad yellow, and some yellow ochre. We've also got some orange we'll be using. I might even throw in a little bit of this Volution Violet too. It's in everything. I've uh, got some burnt umber. Got some black, not sure if we'll use that. We won't mix it in with that. Bit of blue violet. We've got some green, so not gonna use those. But anyway, let's get into it. We've put a little bit of white over our painting where we're going to be uh, having our light colors in the painting, of course. And we're gonna use the old coin trick here. So we're gonna pick up a little brush and I'm gonna put just a little bit of yellow right in the middle of the painting here. And that's going to be our, our sun. And we're going to pick up a little bit of yellow ochre before I do that and just go over the top of the sky. Then we'll come down into the, into the sun. We'll put our coin over that yellow area so we get a nice round sun. You can use anything you like. I've used coffee cups or sauces, whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to go into just into a little brush now just to pick up a little bit of this orange. We're going to stick that coin right there and we're going to go around it. Okay. And when we take it off, we should have a perfect circle for our sun. So we'll just make sure we get that brush right in the edge of that. Good thing to experiment with these things and just practice. Try different things. I tried a 50 cent coin for the moon or the sun, but it didn't really work. So there we go. Get our sun back into the painting now. Get that out of the way. Continue on with our yellow ochre over the top of it and just blend those in together. Bring those up into the painting. We don't want a distinct line there, so just be careful you don't wipe out your sun. But if you do, just put it back. It's not a concern. Okay, and we're gonna pick up a little bit more of that orange here, taking it around the sun, down to the horizon line. And we probably should have put a little bit of those colors in the water as well while we had that that yellow ochre and that on the brush, but that's okay. Now I'm just gonna take it straight through there. Bring that down, just blending it gently into the yellow ochre at the top. So we've got a, a transition of light into the darker color underneath. Just blend those, crisscrossing's the best for this i found. And the bigger the brush, the better blending that you'll get. So if you're too worried about uh, a little concerned about the large brush. Look, use a two inch one until you get used to it. So here we are, we're down to the horizon line now. I'm gonna pick up a bit of that yellow ochre, even though it's a dirty brush, and get straight into it down the bottom there as well. It needs a little bit of white in there, just to lighten it a little. And get those colors in. Pick up some of our orange that we had in there as well. And get that in there. We might even go in for a little bit of this Volution Violet. We can use the same brush, put it straight on. So get those colours into the water. I'm going to have some pandanus palms and that in here. So good little exercise to learn as well. We'll be using a lot of our fan brushes and our liners. So we've got that, looks okay. Just needs a little bit more of a blend there. That's looking pretty good. If you're a little concerned about the starkness of that, look, just get a nice soft brush and just go around the edges just gently to take the the edge off it like the sun's actually shimmering through that. Just take it around the edge, I've messed that up a little bit. But that's okay, we can always fix it. It's always gonna be hazy in that, so put a bit of that yellow back in. There we go, put that bit of a haze in front of the sun. I'm gonna pick up a bit of our Volution Violet here and just put a little bit of that in there as well. This goes really nice with an orange and an ochre. Absolutely gorgeous. And we can even use our fan here and just pick up a bit of that Volution Violet and even take it through the sun. Or not through, but across the front of it. There we go. Just blend that in. We don't want it too, too dark. And we can take that right through. I'll take it back the other way this time so we don't take the yellow out that side. good and we can even go underneath 
Just blend those nice and gently. We can go back to our little soft orange brush that we had on there. Just pat some of those things down so it's not jumping off the canvas at us. Soften it just a little bit and blend it in. That's the way. Starting to look a bit better there. And that just needs a little tidy up that little spot there around the sun. Not real happy with that, so we'll just take the sting out of it just a little bit. There we go. And just a little bit more underneath, I think. Take the sting out of that as well. A little bit, just a little bit too dark there. Get the orange into it. That's the colour we're after. Blend it. Same brush, just blending it in. There we go. That's all we've got to do. And we're just going to pick up the same brush. We can go straight into this. Sorry, that's not the one we're after. We're after a nice dark here. So I'm going to pick up a bit of my burned umber and my black on the brush. I'm going to go right across here like this. Okay. And nice and dark. And pat it in, up and down. Don't make it too uniform, make one nice and high. And a little bit of a reflection in there as well. So just pat that down. Don't forget, real critical, that you don't get this paint when you're doing the water for the reflection. Do not get it too thick or you're going to have lots of trouble. And that's probably just a little too thick for my liking. So if you get that, pick up a lighter colour on your brush first and then spread it. Okay, so I can pick up that little bit of yellow ochre there and then spread it across there and it's taken the sting out. Otherwise we would have dragged a lot of that dark into the painting, which we don't really want. Okay, gonna pick up a little, little soft head brush here. I'm gonna put in some, just a few little pandanus palms back in the distance. Or what's gonna look like pandanus palms. It's up to you where you put them, unless you're going straight off a photo, but like I always say, nine times out of 10, you gotta change the photo anyway. So we can use a little liner here. Just because these are way back in the distance, we don't want them sticking out too much. So just a few little hints of those fronds, those leaves hanging off the pandanus palms. They'll go all over the place, so just don't worry about it too much. Get the stalks in if you can. Little trunks of those trees, they twist and turn. They're really weird, weird shapes, wild looking things. So a bit of that in the painting as well. Just get those branches just sticking up there, just feather them, that's all you have to do. It's in the distance. We're not really concerned about it too much, but you need to put them in there. Because when people look into that painting, they like to see something back, way back into the distance. Okay, we can even pat that down with a little bit of color if we wish, just to get a little bit of light in there. It just looks a little bit too dark for me, because the sunshine will be hitting those trees. And we'll even pick up a little bit of yellow and just highlight them. That's all we've got to do. Now we're going to put in a little few lines in the painting. We've got the basics down here. We're just about to have a break. We'll do that very shortly. And we'll get a couple of lines in the water here. Got a bit of paint there. We'll get rid of that. A bit of orange paint. Might have even helped. Okay, before I do, I'm going to pick up a bit of this yellow and actually put our sun in. Haven't got our bottom finished off yet, but that's okay. Bit of dark down the bottom. Bit of that Volution Violet down there. Darken it up. Takes it right into the center. Just having put that there just, just made a difference already and it's not even finished. So here, these are the, some of the things you can do. Absolutely amazing, you can have so much fun with it. And don't forget we're using the W oil, so not only you can have some fun, but it's safe as well. All washes out in water. No turps, no nasty. Toxic fumes or solvents, it's all clean, washes out in water. Fantastic. Okay, we're just going to use our fan brush here and I'm just going to gently fan that that way, backwards and forwards, and we're just about to have a break and we'll do that. A little bit of white on there too, just to like, just to give it that little bit of power in the sun, the reflection. There we go. Okay, we're going to come back shortly. We're going to continue on. It's looking pretty good already. Kakadu Sunset. We'll see you soon.